is the Italian barber Perry Como, and uh, I took an interest in him because uh, usually every month or two on his TV show he had a young girl named Brenda Lee on, and I was in love with Brenda Lee. And here's a young lady I met September 26, 1960 in Ottawa, Canada. A general admission to get into her show was a dollar and a half. I got an advance on my allowance and fought my way to the front to take pictures. And in, in those days, a roll of 12 would last two barbecues, the Queen Mother's visit, and some new buildings. I shot 12 shots on Brenda and, and knew I was going home. The only way I could get her home was in the camera. In walking out of the auditorium, I looked down a corridor and saw a sign saying, Brenda Lee and the Casuals. I should tell her I like the show. So I knocked on the door. Mother answered. I looked up and said, I just came to tell Brenda she did a great show. Her mother said, why don't you come in and tell her yourself? She's sitting right over there. So I came in and sat down beside her, talked for half an hour. I got her address, got her phone number, I got mailing address, it was post office box 50, Nashville, Tennessee. No zip number in those days, hadn't been invented yet. Carried her suitcase to the station wagon, was so excited about that I copied down the license plate tags. I got a kiss on the cheek and an autograph and her address. And I went home, got off the bus two stops early because it took me half a mile for to land back on Earth again. And uh, a week later, I put the stuff into the drugstore, got my snapshots back, mailed them down to Nashville. They mailed me a check for $35. An ounce of gold in 1960 was $32. So I earned an ounce of gold on my first professional job. It was healthy for a 13-year-old. I went out and bought an electric guitar with it. There's Brenda at the piano. And, and in these days, she was a personal friend of B.B. King, personal friend of Elvis Presley, and was a, and still is a four foot 11.